Hi, this video is going to be about the Aztec airbrush and uh, what I do to maintain it. Um, I got my first Aztec airbrush before testers bought it uh, back in 1986 and I've used this, uh, I think I sort of retired it about two years ago because the airflow uh, coming out of it wasn't uh, the best. So uh, it says the, the original version has uh, the screws so you can take it apart and um, clean it on the inside. Uh, you know it's the rubber bands. I'll discuss that later on. Uh, like I said, this is the original Aztec. Uh, they replaced it later on with uh, this one here with the rivets so that you couldn't take it apart. And then, uh, or if you did want to, you had to drill them out. And then later on they place it with uh, this one where you it's much easier to take apart. So for this one here, let me take the rubber band off. So take it apart, so I just had a couple of screws there for that. And that's the inside of it. So for this one, if you want to take apart, you had to dirt out the rivets, and then later on put in screws. So this is this is a, the tester's version. I've already drilled out the rivets on that. So same thing. That's the inside of it. Relatively similar. And for this one down here. And so for this one, uh, you put a screwdriver in the back or the front, the bottom, and sort of pry it apart. Let's see if I can get this. So you can see here they replace it as brass and they replace it with a plastic item sort of right? So um, same with up here, this item here has been replaced with a plastic item whereas uh, before it was um, metal. Uh, so um, to clean it, basically for what most of the cleaning was this item here. So that would come apart, and you'd have to um, clean inside here. Basically, that what parts uh, I guess there's blowback with uh, paint, and it would come back into here, and uh, this would also get clogged up, and that would also need cleaning. So, so, so I would I do that once a year, maybe twice a year, uh, once the paint flow starts going lower. But um, I notice. Um, I said reassemble this just to reassemble this. This goes back into here. Make sure it goes into the hole. And 
this piece. You have to be careful that it doesn't get pinched there or pinched there, but uh, that's basically reassembling it. But uh, what I found was that um, over time, um, the airflow coming out of this would would decrease quite a bit, uh, so much that it was it it became uh, fairly useless, and uh, I I finally figured out why. Like if you take this apart. So this is a silicone um, little hose, and I don't know if you can see in there, there's like a little uh, blade that comes down, and that coming down squishes the silicone hose, and that's what causes uh, the, it to stop the airflow. But focus on it but but there's an indent here from that blade and that's basically right now it's I guess it's it's over time it's, it's pushed it in so much that um, even though I'm opening this up the f airflow is restricted Uh, whether you can get a replacement for that, I haven't tried. I haven't looked on the uh, tester's website. So uh, for that, um, actually for now, you can see that's why I've been putting the uh, elastic band on that to just try to keep the pressure off that to keep it from compressing that. So uh, what I've done on some of those, if it's gotten pretty bad, is uh, I pop that up and I've sort of flipped it around to use the the other side of the uh, the hose. I think that's the original one. I think, yeah, that's what it was. So it's like that. I don't know if you can see that. So it completely almost stopped the airflow. So I, I sort of um, pushed it open and I flipped it around and uh, reinstalled it that way. So basically get uh, more use out of it. Um, uh, not a good design, unfortunately, because eventually it will wear out. Uh, if you can get a replacement part, great. If you can't, um, whether you can get a different type of uh, replacement, um, not from tester, some other source, and then pop it in there. But then you'll notice that it, it changes in diameter, and then the other hose goes in the back of it. So whether you can find something like that, I don't know. Um, like I said before, I used to recommend uh, the ASIC airbrush because uh, I said I had it for since 86 and I found it easy to use easy to clean with a periodic maintenance sort of thing um, I got these as spares and basically I, I haven't used any of them uh, I just use that one mainly and I had these like eventually when I figure if this eventually breaks down I start using the other one but uh, I've never really had to 
Um, but like now after seeing this, it's like uh, even though they, they haven't been used at all, uh, the hose is getting crushed at this moment. So that's why I've been putting the elastic band on it and hopefully that would save it. You know, now at least I know that I can open it up and flip the hose around uh, to get the, the full flow air out of it again. Anyway, um, I see that's uh, just a note on it. Uh, now that you know, if, if you do have one with very low airflow, you, you can take it apart, uh, flip, flip this around, and um, get the flow out of it again. But anyway, um, like I said, I, I really like the airbrush. Uh, I know other people have also had problems with the uh, with the nozzles. Uh, I, I I've originally hadn't seen it. Like I says uh, I've had nozzles last for me. You know, five to seven years before I get replacement but other people the nozzles don't fit properly uh, I think that's just slight variations in in quality control because I, I have tried different nozzles on some of these and they'll work on one or not work on another so again I says I can see why some people had problems with it and not happy with it but like I says my my experience so far uh, from this one has just been fairly amazing um, and I, I can see, I say, where other people will get frustrated with it, sort of thing, right? So, but uh, and that's it. Uh, like I says, I just wanted to make a note about this problem there, and hopefully, it'll help others. Thanks.